continue to follow Idalia's impact. Many remain without power and are beginning to deal with the damage left behind by what's now a post-tropical cyclone. And after barreling through Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas, here's a live look at its remaining path. Uh, the system has moved off land and is making its way east through the Atlantic Ocean. And President Biden will soon be headed to Florida to assess the damage firsthand. He has already approved a request from Governor Ron DeSantis for a major disaster declaration. And we have live team coverage for you tonight. Our chief certified meteorologist, Betty Davis, is standing by. But we begin with our Christian De La Rosa. He joins us live from Gainesville with a look at the conditions there tonight. Christian. Yes, Gainesville, one of several cities in the region where crews are staging to respond to some of the most affected areas like Sinhachi, where we spent most of the day and where many residents showed up to see their damaged homes for the very first time. The power of Adalia storm surge pushed this mobile home over a block away from where it once stood. Up a couple other blocks. This is how high the water got. And this is the view inside Stacy Austin's home from the street. We did not expect it for sure. We expected a lot of flooding and pulling furniture out and you know, tearing drywall out and stuff, but didn't think we wouldn't have a wall. Not in a block house. It's terrible. It's, it's terrible. Chip I've, I've Potter is lucky. The flooding water stopped rising just feet away from his home. Came up our road to that shed right there with that sun on the back of it. That's my shed. The mess left behind by the storm is overwhelming and widespread. Virtually every structure on or near the water, like family owned Roy's restaurant, look like this. It's going to be a lot of work but we've done it before, we'll do it again. Help is starting to arrive in the region from South Florida. Three days since I ate anything. 45 minutes north of Stinghachi in Perry, hundreds waited in their cars as truckloads of food, water, and basic essentials arrived thanks to Global Empowerment Mission and Farm Share. This is our backyard, and so it hit really close to home. Sweetwater Mayor Jose Pepe Diaz and members of his police department also came to help. Tomorrow could be us. The crew that's behind me are linemen who have been working to turn the electricity back on to so many areas. Tens of thousands of people at last check who are still in the dark tonight. Live in Gainesville, I'm Christian De La Rosa, local. Long